Hello and welcome to that, uh, this video of uh, attendance device integration with uh, time and attendance. Uh, this uh, video uh, shows how to integrate a time clock device or attendance device with uh, time and attendance app for uh, Redmine. So, uh, uh, for this demo we have uh, chosen ESSL uh, model number K20 as our uh, attendance device and that attendance device is connected to a local uh, desktop which collects all data from the attendance device and then it will transmit uh, data over FTP to the Redmine uh, server. So we will uh, briefly show how to do this integration. The device we integrated was uh, ESSL model K20. For more information on their device, you can check out their website. Once the employee scans in, their uh, clock and time will be recorded into the device and uh, then transmitted over to the computer it's connected to. So open up the ESSL scheduler and uh, set up the FTP settings uh, like uh, set up the host name the username, the password and also give the uh, root directory or the directory where the file should be FTP'd over to and then <coughs> save these uh, settings and uh, so and also have have a job set up. We have set up a job to run at 10.45 a.m. and uh, so, so at 10.45 every day you will send the device log. Once the uh, FTP setup is uh, done on the ESSL scheduler, the files should flow over to the server. Uh, this is an SSH session with the server, so we can kind of see where the files are. So these are the files which have been FTP'd over uh, all these days. And the last file here is uh, this file with today's date on it. Let me just look. So these are the records uh, within that file. So every user is going to have a record. Basically, <coughs> the clock in and clock out are going to be uh, different uh, records in this file. So the first uh, field is the user ID, and the second, uh, and the second field is the date time. This pretty much gives the clock in time. So if you have a clock out, so you're going to have another record. So let's just open up another file. Uh, so you can actually see uh, the user ID 53. So the 63 is the, the user 63 is got a clock in time of this is a clock in time and the same 63 is appearing one more time here and this should be the clock out uh, time uh, so this is what is going to server is going to uh, the time and attendance uh, app is going to read so, so the files are uh, FTP'd over to this location and then we need to uh, configure the time and attendance plugin to uh, pick up those files and process them. <coughs> so on the, on the plugin configuration go to the attendance tab and then say uh, auto import and then say uh, when you want the scheduler to run so we have set up the scheduler to run every one hour and then enter the path uh, to look for the files and then you can set up the file details here so whether it's going to have a header or not and what is the field separator and <coughs> and then this is this is where you set up what columns the file has right now we have we are just saying it's got an ID column and a uh, date time. So since uh, uh, we can just say uh, start time 
because uh, so these are the two columns it's going to look for and if the record repeats itself it's going to take that as a as the end time or the uh, clock out time so once these are set up um, the data uh, from the attendance device uh, will be ftp over uh, to the server where the redmine uh, is running and then once uh, the scheduler is set up uh, on the redmine app it'll automatically pick those files and uh, import them into the into the app and then you can clearly and you can see those uh, clock in and clock out time within the app so thank you for uh, listening to this uh, uh, taking a look at this uh, video uh, if you need further support or any assistance please feel free to contact us here is our contact information and also if you need any help with the uh, customization of our time and attendance app uh, please feel free to, feel free to contact us thank you